Yo, what is up everybody? And today I am bringing y'all with some Frost Sword builds right here. And to continue off with the series of the Sword Elemental Aether builds, we're going to be doing these Frost. And to start off with the builds, we're going to be using Urska right here. And with Urska, we're going to have Aether Attunement. So our Lantern Charge, our Pengar Shine, which is going to have Aether Attunement on it. It's going to recharge it 50% faster. Cunning, we're going to have them critical strikes and that damage as well. Energize, we're going to get our special on our sword way quicker, 40% faster. Overpower, the damage of, you know, interrupted behemoths, staggered, just staggered behemoths in general. Uh, part breaks will stagger behemoths. You'll get 40% damage against those. Predator, if you don't take hits for 15 seconds, after that 15 seconds, you'll deal 35% damage. And you keep it for the whole fight until you get hit again and reset. Assassin's Frenzy, um, after you break apart, you'll get 15% attack speed, and this will last 20 seconds. You don't need that, that 40 seconds, because you're going to be getting multiple part breaks. So it'll just keep on resetting, and you know you just have that up anyway. So there's no point in getting plus 6. You can use that for another cell. Knockout King, we'll have extra staggered damage. And um, we got Tempest for this cell, so we get a dodge. Once you use this ability, it's extra damage against uh, part breaks. For our sword here, we have Predator Cunning, Avenging Overdrive. You can activate it, it will parry, which is really good. It's basically like discipline as well with the parry. Really amazing. Recursive Hill. So while you're in that little special blade rush, you'll, your Valor will just regenerate. So you can just boom. Keep on dealing damage, get that Valor going real quick. Then we have Pangar's Call for the Bond. So we have that little Frost Orb that explodes and deals a lot of damage. And Knockout King is on that. For our helmet, we're going to have Cunning, Energize. This is Stormclaw's helmet. We have Stormclaw's plates, Assassin's Frenzy on this. Then we have Torgadaro's hands, or Overpower. Then we have Koshai's boots with Aetheric Attunement. And that's going to be this build right here. Let's move on to our Pengar build. This is going to be our um, Iceborne type of build. We're going to have Conduit, Lantern Hole will grant us 50% attack speed. Last for 10 seconds. Knockout King, extra damage. Overpower, Rage, once we get hit, and this is why Iceborne is really good because you can just regenerate the health once you get hit. You get 20% extra damage for 15 seconds. So it just as you get hit, you just keep on, keep on dealing that damage. So that'll be pretty much like Predator, it'll just stay on you. Then Sharpen, extra part damage. And then Sturdy works well with the um, Rage because you don't want to get staggered. You don't want to lose out on that few seconds of damage. So you want to keep on dealing damage. That's why you have sturdy. Unstagger every five seconds really fast. So we have Iceborne so we can get lifesteal. Pangar, we have Sharpen and Sturdy on this. We have Valiant Overdrive. So this is kind of, well, I would say it's more of a beginner friendly type of build. You know, just beginning in game after you're done with your quest. Um, so yeah, we have Valiant Overdrive so you can dash, do a little dash. Then we have Recursive Hilt. We're going to have attack speed with strike zeal with conduit. Our helmet is going to include rage and this is Pangar's helmet. This is Shroud's body armor with overpower. This is Drask, regular Drask uh, with conduit on it. And this is also Pangar with sturdy on it. And that is going to be the build. Let's move on to our scray build right here. We're going to have Revenant. We're going to have Revenant. It's going to be, you know, a lot of damage a lot of damage so of course we have energized overpowered predator pulse is every fifth hit is critical strike with extra strike damage sharpen assassin's frenzy and with nimble after dodging through an attack you gain 15 stamina and stamina above max stamina becomes stamina shield so basically it's almost like skull forge where you just generate infinite stamina um except for this is Basically, you're not like if you get hit, it doesn't generate stamina. You just gotta keep on dodging to get that stamina. All right, for the weapons, we have Predator and Assassin's Frenzy with Valant Overdrive, Recursive Hilt. Our helmet is Stormclaw with Predator. Time Weave Set with Sharpen. Torgadaro with Sharpen. Chronovore with Pulse. Shrike Zeal is gonna have Energize on it. Moving on to our next build, Boreas. We have Iceborne again for this build. This is going to have Cunning on it, Energize, Overpower, Tenacious. The more health we have, the more bonus damage we're going to get. And Tough, 
the, we got more max health, which works with Tenacious. So that 2% bonus will just keep on ramping up every 100 health. Conditioning, stamina regeneration is a lot faster. And then Sharpen. Strike or Scarn's Defiance is going to have Energize on it. The weapon is going to include Sharpen and Tough. Avenging Overdrive, that parry. Recursive Hilt. Then we have Stormclaw with Cunning. Time Weave with Tenacious. Time Weave with Cunning. And Nasher with Tenacious. And that's going to be that build. The last build here is for our Frost Wolf build, our Bastion Shield build. We're going to have Energize on this. Fortress, after not taking um, damage, you just gain the shield and it stacks three times, 135 each. Galvanize, the more shield we have, the more critical strike chance we get, and we have extra strike damage. Overpower, Tenacious, and Aegis. Aegis, increase all shields received by 17%. Of course, you're going to have plus six. I just don't have. Um, Something on here I don't have maxed out. I'm going to have to max it out. But um, yeah, you get plus 20 at pl uh, plus 6. And after gaining 1,000 shields from any source, ignore the next incoming hit within the next 15 seconds. So it's basically like a sturdy or, or invincible, pretty much. All right, so we're going to have for our weapon here, Energized Fortress, Avenging Overdrive, and Recursive Hilt. Scarn's Defiance is going to include Energize. Then we have Frost Wolf with Tenacious. Frost Wolf with Fortress, Torgadro with Overpower, and we have Boreas with Galvanize. And that's going to include our build right here. And if I hadn't said it, Scarns Defiance is going to have Energize. That's going to include our builds right here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this gameplay. Hope this build can really help you in, you know, fire fight or blaze fights against Blaze Behemoths. And um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into the gameplay, man. Roll to 2K. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, and, uh, yeah, enjoy, y'all.